Hey guys, Liam Kearney here again. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about just giving yourself a break. Um, I've kind of noticed over the last, shall we say, two months or so, I've had an awful lot going on. Um, it's been a bit, uh, shall we say, complicated. Um, you know, and life's kind of thrown a few curveballs in there and I kind of didn't really see any of it coming. But I was speaking to a friend of mine yesterday and she gave me some really good advice that essentially, regardless of what's happening, to kind of just give yourself a break, give yourself a little bit of credit for what you've actually done and stop beating yourself up about the past. Because looking back on anything, you were looking back on anything with hindsight and with the learnings you know having gone through that situation. And that if you knew what you knew now, you would do things differently. But you didn't know what you know now. And if you hadn't gone through that situation, you wouldn't know what you know now. So essentially it was just kind of, like for me, I've been really good at kind of not giving myself credit for what I've done. You know, I ran an ultra marathon last year. And after I ran that ultra marathon, I kind of went, woo, that's done. And then I just went, yeah, I'm sure everybody runs an ultra marathon. And they don't. But this is the, this is the, this is the conversation I've been having with myself since then of like anything I achieve, I turn around and I kind of go, yeah, yeah, but loads of people do that. And that, that doesn't exactly set myself up to feel good about myself, give myself confidence and to move forward well. So that I've realized that I've kind of have to work a little bit harder and just put a little bit of effort into actually changing the wiring of had up till now. That up until now, like I'm the oldest of, I've, like of a brother and a sister, I'm the oldest of the kids, which meant that I got praise growing up for making sure that my brother and sister were okay and were safe. And just that that's a funny thing to realize, like I'm 31 now and that to realize I've gone through most of my life looking, you know, that doing things that may not have been in the best way for me. Because it means that I'm getting praise for other people for making sure that other jobs and work are done. Other people are okay and everybody else is okay. But it also means that I haven't found a way to actually work things so that I make sure I'm okay. And that if I don't do that and I don't actually put myself first and set up some sort of a system so that I feel good and I feel confident and I get praise. And I give myself praise if you like and value what I'm doing then it means that I'm just chasing my tail for want of a better way of putting it. That essentially you're looking for something from somebody else to tell you that you're doing a good job and to tell you that you're enough. And that even when I realized this and I realized that there's probably a better way for me going forward to doing this, I still looked at it kind of going like, oh, like, you know, you've gone through all of this amount of time and you should have learned this earlier, but it was, and it still wasn't, but you have realized it. That's a good thing. That means you're more aware now and you can find a better way of doing it. And you can try lots of different ways till you find one that suits you. And if in five years I find a better way of doing it, I can do that then. But it was just kind of a strange realization to realize that the autopilot that I've been on for most of my life may not have been a thought pattern that I'd set up as in this is the best way for me to get what I want out of life and that as a result of that it means that it could be something somebody else has suggested to me whether that be like from you know your parents um, teachers you know aunties uncles people you grew up around who had a you know were authority figures in your life that they don't know what the best is for you. They're doing the best they can. I'm not putting them down for that. But I'm saying that the only person who knows the best for you is you. And that it's okay to do whatever it is you need to do um, to just be happy. And, you know, some days you have to go through things that are a little bit uncomfortable. But you come out better in the long run for that. And if you don't actually sit back and think, like, is where I'm going in life and what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis making me happy? And you either get a yes or a no from that. 
if you don't want to look at that that's fine but just that if you don't look at that you won't develop any sort of awareness or a plan for moving forward to actually make sure that you are happy and I know plenty of people who are in high paid jobs and they're freaking miserable and to be honest with you you know I came straight out of college went to work for a design company and moved up through the ranks there pretty quickly did an awful lot of good stuff there but to be honest I was still chasing my tail and I wasn't happy but the exciting thing now is that I'm actually at a point where I've realized I have accomplished everything in my life till this point on autopilot winging it and without a plan and I've been pretty successful in most things I've turned my hand to but now I'm realizing that what if I do have a plan what if I do decide there's something that I want and want to work towards that and make a conscious effort and decide what I want? I could probably achieve some exciting things then. And that was the exciting thing for me. And I can either sit back and kind of go, oh, well, you haven't been doing great up till now and you haven't had a plan and give myself, make myself feel bad over that. Or I could turn around and say, well, let's get a plan and let's see how exciting life can be. I don't expect it to be comfortable all the way, but I do expect every time I go through uncomfortable to come out stronger and better at the other side. And that was one of the things that I learned from, shall we say, closing down a business this year, was that I learned more in that process than I would have ever learned in 10 or 20 years in the corporate world and working for somebody else. Because you realize things when you have to do them yourself, you have to figure out a plan for that, that you'll never learn working for somebody else and uh, that makes me more valuable now because I know those sorts of things so looking forward to an exciting 2014 and um, I hope this gave you guys something to think about essentially just kind of figure out what makes you happy and go and do it like it's that simple and yes there will be uncomfortable days and there'll be days where that aren't as good as the other days but you know what that's life just go with it and realize that you're doing the best you can every day. And then when you look back on the past that you may not think is the best way that you did that, you were doing the best you could then too. So stop giving yourself grief about the past. And stop giving yourself grief about not being wherever it is you think you are in the future. Sit back. Give yourself some credit. You've done pretty well up till now. Decide what you want and go and get it. Pretty much it for today, guys. Talk to you soon.